77 Days to Take Back America, Igniting a Final Great Awakening. Today, we are on Day 7, Strength and Courage in Leadership, Praying for Leaders to Stand Firm in Truth. This week's theme is Wisdom and Governance, inspired by King Solomon. Our focus today is on praying for wise and just leadership at every level, from local officials to the president. Let's begin with two scriptures that remind us of the strength and courage that come from God. First, from Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And from Psalm 27.1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Today, as we conclude our first week of prayer, we focus on strength and courage in leadership. Just as Solomon relied on God's wisdom to lead with courage, we pray for our leaders to stand firm in the truth and to act boldly in service of righteousness. In challenging times, strength is found not in human power, but in dependence on God's unshakable presence. Strength and courage are not just about facing physical battles. They are about standing for what is right, seeking justice, and remaining steadfast in God's truth. As we pray for our leaders, let us also ask for strength and courage in our own lives that we may reflect God's light and truth, inspiring others to walk boldly in faith. Let us now enter into prayer. Almighty God, we lift up our leaders today asking that you bless them with strength and courage. May President Trump, Vice President J.D. Vance, and all officials at every level stand firm in truth and act boldly to bring justice and righteousness to our nation. Equip them with resilience and unwavering faith as they lead America forward. We also pray for ourselves that we may be strengthened by your presence and encouraged to walk boldly in faith. Help us to be lights in our communities standing for truth, and inspiring others to seek your guidance. In the mighty name of Jesus, I invoke the standing order of Almighty God to protect my family and our beloved country, America, from every attack, to propel us above every circumstance and crisis, and to prevent any weapon formed against us from prospering, so that we will not fall or fail but will be overcomers, more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. I command angels to surround us, to uphold and guard us in all our ways. Amen. Strength comes from trusting in God. Today, let us release any fear or discouragement, knowing that God is with us. May we stand firm in His promises, trusting that He will guide and protect us. Today, let's reach out to encourage someone who may be feeling uncertain or discouraged. Share a scripture or word of hope, reminding them of God's strength and faithfulness. May the Lord bless our leaders with the strength and courage to uphold truth and justice. May he grant you peace and confidence as you walk in his light, standing boldly in faith. May his strength guide you, his courage uplift you, and his presence be your unwavering foundation. Amen. Dear friends, as we've reflected on the powerful truths today, some of you may feel the Lord calling you into a deeper relationship with Him. Or perhaps this is the first time you've been moved to give your life to Christ. If that's you, I want to invite you to pray this simple prayer of salvation with me. Heavenly Father, I come before you today, confessing that I am a sinner in need of your grace. I believe that Jesus died for my sins and rose again. And I ask you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I turn from my old ways and commit to following you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, guide me by your word, and help me to live for you each day. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, I encourage you to take the next step by asking a pastor to baptize you at a local church, making your decision to follow Jesus public. Baptism is a symbol of your commitment to Christ, and it's a powerful declaration of your faith. Also, seek fellowship with other believers so you can grow in your faith and learn more about your new life in Christ. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your word and for speaking to us today. 
As we leave this moment, help us to keep your truth close to our hearts. Guide our steps, strengthen our faith, and let your light shine through us in a world that so desperately needs it. We pray for your continued blessing on our lives, our families, and our nation. In Jesus' name, amen. As we come to the end, I encourage you to dive deeper into Bible prophecy and Christian living through my best-selling books written by myself or co-authors. These include The Trump Code, Revelation 9-1-1, Your Mission in God's Army, The Military Guide to Disarming Deception, The Military Guide to Armageddon, Trumpocalypse, and The Babylon Code. These books will bless you richly, encourage your faith, and provide profound insight into God's hope for your life. You can visit my website at www.troyanderson.us, and I also invite you to explore Prophecy Investigators at www.prophecyinvestigators.com and Revelation Watchers at www.revelationwatchers.com. Lastly, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Your engagement helps us reach more people with this important message. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Until the next video, may God bless you, keep you, and shine his light upon you. Thank you.